Hi, this is Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I am going to teach you introduction to e-learning. Once again, I repeat the topic: introduction to e-learning. These are the objectives we are going to discuss in this session. Let me see one by one. First one is introduction to e-learning. In this, we are going to discuss the various definitions of e-learning. Second, strengths and weaknesses of e-learning. Third one is opportunities and threats of e-learning. Fourth one, e-learning technologies and infrastructure. And fifth one is levels of e-learning. Okay, we'll see the first introduction to e-learning. The topic is introduction to e-learning. The use of internet and related technologies for the development, distribution and enhancement of learning resources. So the e-learning is nothing but electronic learning. The learning is going to use the related technologies and distribution and enhancement for the learning purpose. Next point, e-learning is essentially the computer and network enabled transfer of skills, information and knowledge. We can able to share the information, skills and knowledge use of computer and its application like networks. E-learning applications and process includes web-based learning, computer-based learning, virtual classroom opportunities and digital collaborations. Once again repeat the point, e-learning applications and process includes web-based learning, computer-based learning, virtual classroom opportunities and digital collaborations. So e-learning is nothing but an application and a process which consists of web-based learning, computer-based learning and virtual classrooms. So web-based learning is nothing but using internet technologies we can able to learn from online and computer-based we can use uh, disk drives or disk tape for learning purpose and virtual classrooms without teachers we can able to study and digital collaboration using this digital collaboration. Now here the e-learning system is based on computer based learning or training often attempt to replicate autocratic teaching styles. So early e-learning system is based on computer so which try to resemble the teaching styles of earlier teachers. So e-learning is based on computer supported collaborative learning. Once again I repeat, e-learning is based on computer supported collaborative learning. In short, we can call it as CSCL, which encourage the shared development of knowledge. So using e-learning is a purposeful or is particularly designed for the learning purpose using the electronic media and provide students and professionals with skills for career development and enabling busy people to learn new technologies. So using e-learning, the students can able to see more definition. For example, if you are studying about e-learning, if you are you're going for the e-learning, so you can able to see various definition for a same topic can be available. It's because it's a knowledge of databases, as well as professionals can able to overcome their drawbacks, the doubts, as well as busy people, if anybody cannot able to go any institution, they can sit at any time and they can study whatever they want using this e-learning tool. So e-learning is a structured, purposeful use of electronic system or computers in support of learning purpose learning purpose or process so e-learning is a structure it's organized it's a purposeful for a particular use which uses of electronic systems or computer for what purpose for learning process it covers a wide set of application and process such as web-based learning computer-based learning and virtual classrooms and digital collaboration okay and you can able to see this lines is repeating for all the definitions that is it covers a wide set of application and process such as web-based learning and computer-based learning and virtual classroom and digital so whenever you are writing the definition for e-learning you should include this line so once again I repeat the line 
It covers a wide set of applications and processes such as web-based learning, computer-based learning, virtual classrooms and digital collaborations. It includes the delivery of content via internet, internet, extranet, LAN, BAN, audio, video tapes, satellite, broadcast, interactive TV and CD-ROM. So how it can be delivered? Okay, if you are studying, how your content will be delivered? It can be delivered using internet or it may use internet or it may use extranet which uses LAN or WAN or else you can study using audio or video tape your communication media may be a satellite communication or broadcast or it may be an interactive face to face or either you can use a CD ROMs now we are going to discuss the strength and weaknesses of e-learning first we will see the strength ability to offer education to a large number of students from distance location for example from here if you want to study in American University from here if you want to study to a British University how so e-learning is a perfect tool to do this so lower cost it's very lower cost and no need of travel no need of instruction fees and this is a shortened course means less time commitment necessary for corporate peoples this e-learning is very very useful for corporate peoples because regarding time constraint the corporate doesn't have much time so they can sit at any time and sit anywhere and they can study using this e-learning tool lower cost means education is more accessible to people with a limited functional resources use best in sector for making best courses available to all we can use a we can give more definitions or plenty of definition for the same concept using the best in sector and which can be available to all now we can see the weakness the large committed to technologies needed for universities corporations of e-learning so we want to establish some infrastructures for this e-learning lack of face to face contact with students uh, this lack of face to face because uh, in case of classroom the teacher can watch each students what they are doing either they are observing or not but in case of e-learning there is no face to face contact with students current technology does not support the low cost high bandwidth and synchronous students teacher interaction the current technology does not support the low cost because nowadays we want to go for high bandwidth we want to pay more and synchronous teacher student interaction now we will see opportunity centers able to reach the world instantly with the latest news and technologies and this is a very very advantage or opportunities of e learning because if you are studying a book right so it may be the book which was composed on early days maybe 5 years back maybe 2 years back what about the latest technologies who will update maybe the next version they may update but in case of e learning instantly any latest news and technology can be incorporated or can add it to the existing technology ability to train sales force and employees about the product advancement we can able to train the sales force and employees about the product advancements access to course from a you know a variety of university we can able to make it as a e learning tool where all the universities can able to log in it decrease long term education expenses by shifting relating program to work so no need, no need you want to travel no need you want to go to college you want to stay in a room you want to uh, go for an accommodation or else you want to go for a transport these things can be avoided which reduces the cost threats lack of student interest because of no face to face interaction it is considerably impossible not considerably it, uh, it, it has to be improved the face to face interaction or lack of student interest equipments and technology requirement restrict the adaptations of e learnings nowadays some technology restrictions and adaptations are there so during using this adaptations there is somewhat restriction and lack of human interaction deters the learning process because of no uh, e interaction it 
deters the learning so some more the interest may go we don't have the interest and if you have any doubt what to do so these are the some of the threats and most corporate instructor lead courses last four to five days comprehensively cover some topics could be lost in a short short and eaten course so in some corporate instructors the courses last four to five days comprehensively cover some topics could be lost in short so it means that so whenever you are studying as a corporate the last four to five days you may able to miss some terms because maybe you are absentees because of technology problems so these are the threats of e-learning e-learning technologies and infrastructures so this topic i'm not going to give the in-depth lecture it's just an idea so video conference technology and streaming audio and video written and storage space high bandwidth required to broadcast courses over the web so first one is a computer based training cbt interactive educational software presented on a floppy disk or a cd disk it's a computer based training so nowadays we can able to have a e learning software which comes on floppy disk or cd disk you can insert into computer and it may be a wizard guider or instruction provided it so using this instruction or wizard you can able to study the courses allow student to take a self paced course in any number of subject since no downloading is necessary bandwidth is not concerned with cbt course because it is not a online course there is no need of bandwidth so web based training developers must consider that their courses will be used on varying operating system and platforms next one is on web based training in case of web based training the developer must consider because they are going to execute this web based training or this website it may be their software on various operating systems and platforms it may be for example someone may use a windows operating system some may use mac operating system some may use unix operating system you want to design your web based training in such a way it has to be executed in all the platform and cross platforms the product are accessible by different operating system so you can able to develop one time and uh, it may be run at any browsers all browsers should support or the software should support it is a cross platform next one is an asynchronous courses can be taken at any time or self place will not have the benefit of live instructor it's asynchronous asynchronous means there is no need of teacher and instructor face to face if it is teacher and student face to face we used to say in synchronous asynchronous no teacher and student online courses must minimize the student confusion by providing the basic interfaces and clear and concise content you want to prepare a content in such a way don't use more complicated words use more pictures which is very easy for the students to understand if possible you can give an audio or video training the student should have the ability to communicate with each other using the chat program and message board if possible the students can able to chat with each others to clarify their doubts and to exchange their knowledge storage space is a major concern for e learning vendors because we are going to dump more databases more information into databases each course require a database of information that can be downloaded by the students audio and video require additional server space and uh, so this are this in, in case of storage space it requires more database because we are going to put more information into it as well as we may put audio or video or it may be an image guided so this requires more space so that is a major problem of e learning vendors next comes synchronous courses occurring in real time audio and video with live instructor will require even more resources to ensure that system functional properly when the courses are delivered so in case of synchronous a teachers will be there teacher and students 
We used to provide an, a real time an online meeting where they can exchange the knowledge and doubts. And next comes the levels of e-learning. There are four categories of e-learning, namely knowledge database, online support, synchronous tra training, and last one is a it's asynchronous training and last one is asynchronous training. Once again, I repeat, there are four categories of e-learning, namely knowledge database, online support, synchronous training, and asynchronous training. So, first one is a knowledge database. While not necessarily seen as actual training, this data database are more basic form of e-learning. They are usually moderate interactive, meaning that you can either type in a keyword or a place to search the database or make a selection from an alphabetical list. So knowledge database is nothing but, so all the information will be stored in a database. You can search for the information by entering the keywords and you can able to search it. For example, uh, Google, you can take Google also a knowledge database. If you don't know anything how to search, you'll be typing, for example, you may type for e-learning in Google and click search where you can able to retrieve the information about e-learning. So this type of examples, we can call it as knowledge databases. Next one is an online support. Online support is also a form of e-learning and function in similar manner to knowledge database. Online support comes in the form of forums, chat rooms, online bulletin boards, emails, or live instant messaging. What does mean by online support? So if you are having any doubts, you can go to chat room and you can post your doubts where others may reply to it. You may all online bulletin boards where you can post your doubts or else you may email it or else there will be a live chat. And slightly more interactive than the knowledge database, online support offers the opportunity for more specific questions and answers. But in case comparing to knowledge database, online uh, data online support is more interactive, where you can able to exchange your ideas and where you can able to clarify your doubt or overcome your doubt. Next one is the asynchronous training. This is a e-learning in more traditional sense of word. It involves the self-paced learning either cd rom based or network based or internet based or intranet based it may include access to instructor through the online bulletin board or online technologies for example now we are talking about higher college of technology department of information and it may be totally a self-contained with links to reference materials in place of live instructors as i said the asynchronous training so it may comes in a form of cds or dvd it may be a network based or internet based where there won't be a, any constant interaction between the uh, instructor and the student it's asynchronous it does not concern about the time student can pose their doubt whenever the teachers are free they can go through the doubts they can reply to the doubt in different times so it is asynchronous it's not synchronous not at the same time next one next one is asynchronous synchronous training is done in real time with a live instructor facilitating the training so if you are having any doubt you can directly ask for synchronous training because it's a live interaction between the instructor and the student everyone logs at the same time and can communicate directly with the instructor with each other so here the login will be provided anyway everybody can log in at the same time where the instructors and the uh, candidates or students will have the live interaction with each other and they can exchange their ideas and doubts you can raise your cyber hand even view the cyber whiteboard it lasts for a set of time from a single session for several weeks months and years this type of training usually takes place via internet websites audio or video conferring conferencing internet telephony or even two-way live broadcast to the students in the classroom so it so this types where you can able to see synchronous training is just as audio or video conferencing it may be a website it may be an uh, internet telephony or it's it maybe a broadcast maybe a chat room or it may be a classroom also 
I think you may enjoy this video. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any doubt, you contact me through my email karthik.me.vlr at gmail.com. If you need more information, you just log on to my blog karthikar3ik.blogspot.in. Thank you. Then thank you for watching this video.